Well, that puts a bit of a dampener on that one. No drama still in the old polishing in the rain, but the old wire, the old, the old wire, the old electrical cord. Mm, not so keen on getting electrocuted, just trying to give me old uh, Cliff Dog a bit of a buffer. But look at that. This is the side I've done. And then this side, I haven't got to yet. Oh, look at it. Like, there is a 100% difference there. So he's definitely starting to look a bit like his old self. But um, probably going to have to leave this one here until it bloody um, clears up and stops raining. So um, with the TDO6, I uh, had a few issues. I've burst the oil line so far because the other one was too long and it was resting on here and started spraying oil out everywhere. Not the one. So my mate Moral hooked me up with this one, which is a bit shorter, works a bit better. Um, me and the mate Damo, we made a bit of a blank off plate there. And we've got an external link to atmosphere now, you yeah, boy. Uh, what I have done as well, is I've got a 10 pound spring and a 5 pound spring in there. Someone um, threw in the comments that I should be uh, trying a heavier pound wastegate spring, which I did do. Um, but it's, it definitely goes better, but it's not bringing boost on any earlier. It still brings it on at 3200. Someone also said to wind the boost compensator in. Wound her all the way in, Kaz, <laughs> after reading your comment. Um, that's definitely made boosts, mm, I'm not going to say come on quicker, but it's definitely, it, it throws the fuel in earlier. Like it's not waiting, obviously, for that boost reference of pressure before it ups the fuel rate. So, yeah, it's, it's still going all sweet, you know, it's definitely having no dramas, but the boost is just coming on too late. So what I actually started looking into was how to make turbo spool up quicker. So I did start doing some Googling, a uh, bit of research on how to make a turbo spool up quicker. And I found a lot of information on uh, quick spool valves. And what you use them for is for twin scroll turbos, they will actually put a flap in between um, on one side of the scroll. So you've got two scrolls, basically you've got two inputs or two holes on the inlet of the turbine housing, the exhaust housing. Um, and the flap closes off one side of the scroll essentially making the exhaust housing half the size until that flap opens and then i started thinking shit i'll just get a piece of steel so i've got a piece of steel and i'm going to cut a hole so one port is open and one port is closed and if that makes boost come on earlier then we're on to a winner i'll start um tampering with that until i get a you know method that works um and i might even make a quick spool valve so there is hope. There is hope for the TDO6 yet.